in the previous session we discussed about the design methodology 10 steps now we are going to know about the case studies for the home or the case studies home automation system by using this design methodology the home automation systems case study in this home automation system case study we are going to know about the controlling of light in a home remotely using a web application that means by using mobile phone or you, we will our automatic sensors we will control the our home system the next important thing the, that means you have a you will apply these 10 steps for the home automation system for controlling the light levels the first important one the purpose and requirement specification the previous session discussed about the purpose and uh, uh, requirement specification that means in what purpose you are going to design in the system here the purpose the purpose of the design the smart home system is a home automation system is a allows a controlling of light the controlling of light value the controlling of light in a home that means the it is a low low level or high level it depends upon any criteria that means you will control in the light level remotely by using web application that is a the main purpose for the controlling the light level or home automation system in this system the behavior the home automation system behavior we have two different modes are there one is a auto mode other one is a manual mode auto mode means automatically if light level is low automatically you will switch on the light if light level is a high you will switch on switch off the tube light that is a depends upon a light level you will stop or start the lights in the auto mode the system measures the light level in your room and switch on the light when it gets dark the that means room level is a dark automatically switch on the light in manual mode the system provides a option for manually and remotely switching on or switching off the light that is a main intention for using these levels in this they have a the requirement the requirement what are the different requirements here system management requirement data analysis requirement application development requirement and then security requirement in the first case the purpose and requirement specification the system requirement the system management requirement should provide a remote monitoring and control functions and then data analysis requirement if you comes to the data analysis requirement what about the exactly data analysis requirement that means it perform the local analysis of data that means you are getting the after collecting the data you have to perform you know, some analysis on data that means what are the different rows for this one and then what are the different uh, attributes of the system and then how can you process these attributes and then how, how can you provide a missing values for this one that means everything existed in a data analysis the next important one application development requirement here the application development requirement should be deployed on a device but should be accessed remotely and then the security requirement the security in the sense authorization and authentication purposes the system should have basic user authentication authentication capability that for the purpose you are using the this first step the first step over come to the second step process specification in this process specification you have to design the use cases for the iot system that means you have to uh, define the some of the actions for this system what are the actions here how can you represent this actions here the process with the help of use cases here the use cases may denote the a simple circle or it may be attribute in case of in case of home automation system how can you write the use cases in the previously that means how can you get the use cases you will get the use cases from the purpose and requirement specification 
from the purpose and requirement specification, you will get these use cases. In the first step, you have a the system performing the home automation system performing two different modes. One is a auto mode, second one is a manual mode. Here, when you are using the auto mode, if the system is in auto mode, auto mode in the sense, if then it will identify the light level. If light level is a, it's for example, dark light, that means the room temperature is a dark, then the state here is a switch on the light. That means you are going to switch on the light. If light level is a high, that means there is a light in, in more intensity value is there, light is a high. Then this particular case is, how can you represent that value? You are representing that value is a switch of the light. And then coming to the, if you comes to the manual mode, here how can you represent the manual mode here? The light state depends upon a light state. The light state is a on. The light state is on. That means you are going to on the state. And then the state of the light is off. That means you are going to stop the light. That means in order to doing this one, that's a depends upon this information. Here in this case, you have a circle is there. What is, how can you represent the circle value? Circle is a start of the process. Here in this case, this particular circle you are represented as a start of the process. The next important diamond for representing the process specification, you will take the diamond in a IoT system. Here, how can you represent diamond here? The decision box, you will take the in the home automation system criteria either uh, you will take the decision auto mode or manual mode that indicates the decision box and then coming to the rectangle here if you comes to the rectangle how can you represent the rectangle here it is a simply attribute or it is simply attribute or state the state or attribute value here in this case the auto mode for example the state the mode is a auto mode how can you represent the mode here? The system monitors the light level. It is a auto mode. Then the system identifies the light level. Here, if light level is dark, the light level is a dark. The system changes the state of the light to on. The system changes the state of the light to on. If light level is high, that means in the room, the light level is high. The system changes the, it's a off. That means it's going to uh, come into the manual mode. If when the manual mode is selected, here the system verify the light state of a, the light state set by the user. That means you will set the light state. You will set the light state by the user. Here, how can you represent that one? If light state set by the user is on, here the, the system changes the state of the light in your room on. Here, if the, the system state set by the user is a on, the room state is also a on. If the light state set by the user is off, if the state of the room is a also off. In this way, you will identify the, that means this is a way of representing the specification for this particular home automation system for identifying the, in the particular home automation system, the smart light, smart lighting system of a room. So for doing that application, you will do this one. The second important component in this case here is a domain specification, domain model specification. In the previously discussed about the domain model specification, the domain model specification provides a, an abstract representation of concepts, objects, entities in a domain. That means it's a understanding the IoT domain for this system to be designed. And then in this case, it defines the attributes of objects and their relationship in the next, next one. Here, the entities, objects, concept include the following. The following are the very important things here. One is a physical entity, virtual entity, device, resource, and then service. That means the concept entities include the this information here in the domain model what is a physical entity for example room is a 
the real world that means discrete identifiable entity in a physical environment that's called here a room a pump motor lcd everything the, the entity called as a physical entity the physical appearance of an entity in the iot system provides the information about the physical entity using sensor or perform the activation upon the physical entity like a switching a motor that means this is called here for example in the home automation system room is a physical entity appliances is a one of the physical entity coming to the virtual entity the physical entity room the representation of room the representation of physical entity in the digital world the representation of physical entity in the digital world is called as a Mm, virtual entity for example for each and every physical entity there exists a virtual entity for example the representation of room like this the virtual entity and then device how can you represent this particular device the device is an interaction between a physical and a virtual entities that means it takes the physical information for example sensor sensor takes a physical parameter converted into which type of a digital form Yeah, these devices are used together in form from the physical entity. Devices are used to identify the physical entity using tag. Here, this particular sensor is also used to identify the physical entity. For example, physical parameters. In coming to the resource, the resource is a software component. We discussed that one for accessing, for processing, for storing the sensor information. the resource includes a like software component that enable the network access for the device this particular is a resource and then service what is a service here the service provides an interface for interacting with the physical entity this particular service provides a interface for interacting the physical entity the services access the resource hosted on the device our network resources to obtain the information about the physical entity here this is a domain model specification what is a, this particular domain model specification from the home automation system one thing you have to know one way for example the arrow indicates the one way association this particular arrow filled arrow indicates the generalization or specialization this indicates the aggregation part of whole in the object oriented analysis and design you will identify this information see here here in this case you will identify that these are all physical entity for the home automation system for controlling the light level these are all virtual entity for the home automation system for controlling this one and then the, there is a service is there you have a mode service controller service and then some of the different services available the resource is a software component here resource also available that means device that means in this case in this way you will having the some certain kind of information the first thing here i am going to starting from the um, particular user or device or anything here here for example the physical i am going to starting from physical entity here this particular physical entity what is the physical entity there is a representation the virtual entity related to the physical entity the representation of physical entity room room is a physical entity the representation of physical entity is a, this one the virtual entity this these are all appliances for the virtual entity and then the virtual entity associated with the service here invoke uh, the different different services are there this particular service exposes the resource that means service exposes the this particular resource or this particular virtual entity associated with the this particular resource the resource may be network resource or resource may be that means there is a, a generalization is there the generalization concept the, that means general parent to child relationship the on device resource this particular is a on device resource this particular on device resource host on a device that means the aggregation it is a part to whole relationship the relationship part to whole relationship called as a aggregation 
the device having the on device resource and then this particular uh, device attached to activation or this particular device attached to sensor this particular ld or sensor light dependent uh, relay sensor here this particular light dependent relay sensor might as the physical entity room the sensor might as a physical entity room and then activator relay um, act on the appliances activator room act on the appliances that means in this case here the user interact with the physical entity that means always the user always interact with the this particular physical entity in this case human users are there act active digital artifacts are there this is a some domain model domain model for this specification and then coming to the in that particular domain model there are three services are there here what are the services here a service that set mode auto to manual that's called here mode service a service that sets a light appliances state that are to on or off that is called here state uh, service and then other third important service here is a the controller service that run as a native service on the device these are all three different services if you see here the services may be three different services existed for this one and then coming to this one when in auto mode when the controller service monitor the light level and then switches the light on or off and then update the state status database and then if it is in a when in a manual mode the controller service retrieve the current state from the database switches the light on or off the process of deriving services from the process execution and information model is described in the next section that means from the process and driven and then coming to the next fourth important information here is a information model how can you represent this particular information previously discussed that one here in the information model you will identify in the attribute for the virtual entities and then their relationship the attribute for the virtual entities for the relationship here this is a very important task that means in, for example in this case here you will identify that means design the class diagram in this case previously designed a entity relationship diagram here for, in this case you will define in the different attributes for the virtual entity the virtual entity room these are all are the room attributes that means a property of an entity called as a attribute here the virtual entity light appliances the light appliances attributes these are all are the attribute that means you will identify the attribute level is a one entity that means in this way you will identify the attributes as well as the their relationship that indicates the information model for the home automation system also you will identify in this way and then in this information model here two virtual entities are there virtual entity light appliances and then virtual entity room this is a information model the next is a service specification model this is a simple information regarding the information model and then service specification this is a one of the step in the service specification define the services in a iot system service time service input and then service endpoint service schedules and then service preconditions and then service effects that means you are going to define in the all information in a service model the very important thing in this case here you have to map the process specification model with the information specific information specification model here there is a mapping is there in this case we have a three different services available for the home automation in case of home automation system three different services for the mode service other one is a state service that means for setting the state level and then finally you have a controller service is there the controller service is a one of the service for this one 
you are come to the first one mode service here how can you represent this particular mode service in this case the mode service sets the mode to auto or manual man auto or manual or retrieves the current mode that means you are setting the this is a one particular service and then coming to the state service here the particular state service indicates that state sets the light appliance the appliance state to on or off or retrieves the current light information finally the controller service one of the important service in this uh, in auto mode the controller service monitor the light level and then switches the light on or and update the status in the status database that means it is verifying that the controller service what is the controller service here monitor the light level that means based on the light level as a dark or full light based on that one you have the switch on or switch off the light and then update the status information in the database and then in the manual mode you are coming to this particular manual mode the controller service retrieves the current state from the database and switches the light on or off that means for doing that one you have a different services these are all different services that means you will discuss the services in this case so that means in this deriving the services from the process specification and information model and then process specification information model you identify the state and attribute for each state and attribute defining the service that means this particular attribute this may this may be state or attribute the rectangle indicates that state or attribute for this particular state or attribute this particular attribute you will define in the service and then for example for mode service and then light state service light state for this one attribute state or light state you will define in this one another attribute here is a the controller service this particular controller service these are all different services that means based on that one only you will define the state service what is the state service how can you represent you discuss those information and then in manual mode how can you represent the this particular state service here these services may be three different services you have one is a controller service other one is a mode service other one is a state service you discuss at those concept that means you will discuss here again one by one here the above diagram shows that the three diagram shows that the controller mode and these state services and then coming to the controller service how can you represent the controller service the controller service run as a native service for on the device this particular controller service when when in auto mode the controller service monitor the light level and switch off the switch on the light value and update in a status database update this information in a database that means this is an input and then we will get this one is a output that is a when it is in a manual mode we discuss that information you, what is that, that information retrieves the current state of the database and switch or off or switch on the light and then other mode service mode service indicates that this service is a mode service how can you represent is a rest full web based service that means this particular service sets the mode to auto or manual the mode updates to the database from the this one and then coming to the last important service here is a state service here rest full web service this particular service light appliances state to the on or off that is called here put request and then retrieves the current light state that is called here get request that means based on this information we will have the state service coming to the iot level specification you have a six levels in the U, unit one that means if you if you want to see a video eight the eight video i specified the different levels for the iot system the iot level specification you have a six levels are there here in the in case of home automation system i used a one first level that means this particular first level the that means everything existed in a local that means not in a for example device 
that means you will take the raspberry pi arduino and then resources the software component controller services databases and then rest services that means the application also a local that means it's a level one service monitors the node uh, performance analysis indicates that level one level one service the diagram shows the deployment level of the which is a level one the deployment level of a home automation system it is a level one and then coming to the functional view specification for the home automation. in the previous we discussed the functional view specification function of iot system group into various functional groups here this particular each and every function group having the this particular component you discussed those devices communication services management security and then application here device in the sense uh, for a sensing activation and monitoring for this purpose you are using the devices in the in case of home automation system the device functional group includes a single board mini computer for example that is a raspberry pi single board mini computer is a raspberry pi and then light sensor this particular light sensor is a one type of device and then relay switch activator the relay switch switches activator is a one type of device these are all are the devices in a home automation system used and then coming to the communication how can you handle the communication communication between a different components of a iot system in the home automation system the communication protocol includes 802.11 in a link layer protocol and then ip version 4 or ip version 6 network layer protocol and then http application layer protocol that means you that means you will use these number of protocol for implementing or for designing the home automation system the communication api used in, in this example is a rest based api and then services coming to the very important one this is a services services for device monitoring and do device control and control service and then services for the data publishing services for the device discovery these are all different services available in home automation system example there is a two rest services mode and state services one native service the controller service that means you discussed those services are you mode service state service and then controller service management that means how can you represent this particular management this block provides a various function to govern the iot system this block and then it includes the some of the functionality that are needed to configure the uh, i configure and manage the iot system here this um, coming to the security here how can you represent the security any unauthorized person can access, access our data that is a security reason application this is an interface that user that means graphical interface that user can use to control and monitor various aspects of a iot system this is a, a graphical interface here application allows user to view the system status and to, to view the or analyze the processor data this is a functional block information you are linking the iot level to level one system to um, different functional block devices maybe that means use the devices raspberry pi activator mini computer and then the resources maybe in this way you will link all these information coming to the this particular functional group that means you have to explain for example iot um, device map to the device functional group how can you mapping this one and then the second important resource map device to functional group how can you map this one and then third important controller service map to the service functional group native service how can you map this particular service group that means in this way you will map the all information to different functional group this is a functional group and then operational view of a view specification operation view specification various options pertaining to iot system management system deployment operations are defined here here the service hosting option the service storage option device option application hosting option these are all different options 
in this case you have a different options available here for example for this particular devices the computing devices may be options raspberry pi and then sensor may be ldr ldr sensor light dependent um, sensor that means relay switch this for particular devices here coming to the communication the communication for from the communication based on a rest api the communication protocols available here 802.11 and then ip version 4 and ip version 6 and then transport layer protocol tcp and then application layer protocol http hypertext transfer protocol these are all communication layer protocol we are coming to the services uh, previously discussed the different services the native services web services the native services may be controller services and then web services may be mode service and then state service the mode rest service state rest service these are all communication coming to the management that means governing the application management django application management and then database management may be mysql database management the device management may be raspberry pi device management here in this case you will perform in the raspberry pi device management and then coming to the security authentication how can you perform in the authentication web app and database authorization web app and database for this security group and then finally application that means this is a graphical user interface for accessing the different aspects of a system by using this one the application web apps application server and database server the web app indicates the django web app and then application server is a django application server and then this particular database server is a mysql this is a operational view specification this is a some information regarding the operation view specification finally how you how to integrate all these components the components may be devices sensors um, raspberry pi that means raspberry pi if you use a raspberry pi or mini computer or uh, activators you have to uh, interlink this information into different resources resources may be software component that means different components are integrated in this step finally that means in, in this way you will integrate the all these components in a one place and then this is a some information in this the information raspberry pi is a mini computer the, the raspberry pi is a mini computer and then ldr sensor light dependent sensor ldr sensor used and then relay switch one relay, relay switch used for switch on and off the light and then detailed description of raspberry pi board and how interface sensor and activated board is that means we previously discussed the concepts and then final step in the iot design methodology is to develop uh, develop iot application that is a the uh, you will developing a some application for that one uh, based on in that means you wrote a some code that the implementation how can you perform in this particular implementation for doing that one different modes and models how can you performing this is a some representation of the system this particular representation for this one these are all references the reference textbook very simple and important textbook and then not only this this one you have a some web uh, documentation available okay thank you